I go through periods of time where I really want to take care of my digestive system, make sure I'm absorbing my nutrients, and make sure that my bathroom schedule is well, where it needs to be, just like you are. Not just everyone just doesn't want to talk about it, that's the problem. So here's what I get at the grocery store when it comes down to the top five probiotic foods that I eat. Now, a probiotic is defined by the World Health Organization as a live microorganism which, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit to the host. So basically what that means is that when you consume something that is a probiotic, it's having a positive impact on you as the host by actually feeding yourself good bacteria that's helping your life. So let me cut right to the chase and give you the breakdown of the five foods that you should get at the grocery store. The first one is simple, it's yogurt. Yogurt contains a particular strain of bacteria called Lactobacillus bulgaris. And what this is good for is lower digestive health. Okay, so we're talking about health mainly in the colon. So if you have issues with constipation, then yogurt is probably the best probiotic food for you, hoping that you can do dairy in that case. Just keep in mind, there are different kinds of yogurt and they're not all created equal. For example, goat's yogurt and sheep yogurt is far superior to cow yogurt simply because it has a healthier quality of protein in it. The next one that I highly recommend you get is miso soup. It has something called Aspergillus orzae. Now that particular strain of bacteria is very good for a number of things, but particularly good for the upper GI tract. So if you're someone that battles with ulcers or you're battling with issues in the upper GI and acid reflux, you might find that miso soup is tremendously good for you. However, if you are a male, you do want to consume miso in moderation because it does contain soy and can be estrogenic. But here's a quick tip for you. Make sure you find one that is unpasteurized because unfortunately the pasteurization process kills off a lot of the bacteria that occurs through the fermentation process of the soy. Okay, the next one is sauerkraut, one of my personal favorites. Sauerkraut contains something called Lactobacillus plantarum, which has been shown to do a lot of amazing things, particularly when it comes to the immune system. Now, the interesting thing about sauerkraut in general is that cabbage, which basically is just sauerkraut in its non-fermented form, contains already lactic acid bacteria in small quantities. You see, it already has the goods, so all we're doing is fermenting it and not even having to add bacteria. You're taking something that naturally has the bacteria that you need to be healthy and have a healthy immune system and just letting it curate and do its thing. You're letting it cure. So by and large, sauerkraut becomes one of the most naturally abundant forms of good bacteria that you can possibly have. Truly, truly good for gut health, for your immune system, and also for your mind. Which leads me into the next one, which is kimchi. Kimchi is another form of fermented cabbage it just has spices added to it. These spices contain a lot of flavonoids and a lot of polyphenols that have additional fat burning effects as well. So if you're trying to increase your digestive health and absorption of nutrients, kimchi might be really, really good for you. Also contains that lactobacillus plantarum that sauerkraut does from the naturally occurring lactic acid bacteria that is already in cabbage. Then the last one that you have to pick up from the store is good old dark chocolate because dark chocolate has probiotic effects, but it also has interesting prebiotic effects where it can help your existing gut bacteria flourish. There was one study that actually found that consumption of dark chocolate led to a decrease in inflammation, a decrease in C-reactive protein levels. And how it did that was directly linked with the increase in lactobacilli that was found after consumption. Fancy way of saying eating dark chocolate increases your existing good gut bacteria, which is being shown to modulate inflammation, which can be the root of so many things. So now you have five quick and easy foods that you can find at just about any grocery store or any health food store that you can implement into different areas of your life, depending on what ails you. So as always, make sure you comment and let me know what videos you wanna see, but also keep it locked in here on my channel and please, please, please let me know if you have any suggestions. I'll see you in the next video.